Right, okay, so it's quick bike time again, and this time we're taking a look at re-elasticating a top kit. It's a little bit different from when you've got a brand new pole, it's all nice and clean, but this top kit here needs re-elasticating, it's taken a bit of a batter in, and it's something that I've got a quick tip to make it quicker and easier for you that I do all the while, and if you've got a lot of top kits, you might find this useful. So there's no diamond eye threaders and stuff when you've got a brand new pole, there's probably a little bit of water and grit in here from a fishing sessions, so if you follow these steps, hopefully real estate and top kit is going to be made nice and easy. So let's get straight into it. First of all, the elastic I use is slick elastic. This one here is a 16 to 18 in the green. I absolutely love this. I've used it for a few years now and since I've changed, I've got no reason to go back. So let's try and quickly get that untangled. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the old elastic in here to thread the elastic in my pole. So no uh, diamond knife threaders or anything like that, like I said. So be careful not to lose your elastic here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the old elastic, keep it under tension, obviously. And what I'm going to do is tie onto here just a couple of little overhand knots and then we can let go just so, I'm gonna put one should be fine. And then we're gonna trim off that quite nice and short. Because this elastic is quite thick, I am gonna to need to trim this fairly tight. Right, so there we go, that is gonna be pulled through there. But just before we do that, I can let go of that now. On the other end, I'm gonna attach a side puller bead. Pretty much everyone's using side puller beads now. So a little pack here, we've got a little threader that we're going to need to attach it onto. So if I can get into the pack, we'll open that up, take out one of the beads. I use a large bead for this just because you don't want the bead to be able to go back into that side puller slot. So a large bead is always the way I would go. So if you thread your, let's move those packs out of the way. If you thread your bead on to your small little threader, elastic goes in, bead pulls on, nice and simple. Now for now, I'm gonna tie a quick overhand knot, but don't worry about this, because this is temporary. So we'll tie a much neater knot shortly. So that's gonna go in there and then just buffer that up there. That's basically now gonna stop me pulling that elastic through when I pull it through. So if we come whizzing back to this end, this is my old Dacron connector. Hopefully now we can just pull on this and it's gonna pull through all that lovely new elastic. So we've got that through, that's nice and tight. There we go, so that came through nice and easily. And then here we are back up to your knot. So you can unconnect that. This is my old elastic can go. Right, now we are on to your connectors. So I use super short Dacron connectors. If you don't use those, I really do urge you to because they are so good. And in my fishing, they've made a real difference. If you use stuff like um, Stonflow connectors or just a crow's foot in the elastic, obviously do it your way. But for me, how I connect these super short is literally you thread it on, you tie one overhand loop, leaving yourself a relatively long tag and then a bit of moisture, pull that nice and tight. And then what you wanna do just to secure that definitely in place is use both of those tag ends to tie another overhand loop and then that all pulls down hopefully you can see that on camera that all pulls down on top of the connector and then all you do is pull back there and we trim off really tight to the knot on there so that is my super short dacron connector all connected nicely like i said that's very it's you dependent on what you like to use, but I use those, so that's how I connect it. There's plenty of videos out there about how to connect Stonflow connectors or stuff like that. So if you use those, then just go and search those out. So if we come back to where we were, and hopefully if I point that towards you, you can see now that we are all the way through with our new elastic. Now to get the tension right, you use your puller bead. So like I said, that was just a temporary knot. What you do now is you keep pulling your puller bead down pretty much until it just, there you go, look, so it, it pulls back in nicely. It's, it's in at that end, that bead tensions into there. That's pretty much where I want it. So we just give that another inch and tie another overhand loop. This time 
I'm going to give it a bit of water, pull it nice and tight, pop that knot into the bead, and then we are going to trim those tag ends. And there we go. That is now a brand new elastic, all nicely tensioned, flies back into there, come back from this end, and we've got that into there. So it's really nice and simple. You're all done in literally, I mean, I've done it a bit slower there on camera, but I can probably do one of those in a minute, let's say. And when you've got a lot of top kits, it is a tedious job. I know a lot of people don't change them regularly enough because they can't be bothered to put diamond eye threaders and stuff. You really don't need to. Use your old elastic, a real quick tip, and it should make a pretty tedious job a little bit easier for you.